Hello everybody, welcome back to another week in my life at home. Well, I'll be home for like a few days in this vlog. You guys maybe watched last week's vlog where I was home for the full week. I have been just wrapping up some back to school campaigns, shooting some fall stuff before I begin my next leg of travel. Um, it's been good to be home, but it's honestly been a very slow week, a little boring. Um, so I'm excited to get back after it. So I've got a six day a little roadie on the horizon. I am leaving Thursday and driving to Kent to see some of my college friends stick going out staying the night there and then on Friday morning I'm driving the hour to Cleveland and I am staying with my big Allie for Friday night and Saturday night we've got some fun plans I've never been to her big girl apartment so I'm really excited about that and then on Sunday morning I am waking up and driving four and a half hours from Cleveland to Indiana my manager Chloe is getting married and I am attending that wedding and Monday morning I am waking up and driving towards home on the way home I am stopping about halfway at West Virginia University to visit my twin sister for a night just go to dinner hang out with her for a little bit and then Tuesday morning I will drive back here be home for a couple of days and then I am off to the Florida Keys for a hotel collab so it's kind of a random trip but I am so lucky to be content creating full-time and to have the job freedom and flexibility to be able to be that long distance friend that really can show up and just like make a spur of the moment visit. I will be seeing pretty much every single friend that I have besides a couple um, over the next five, six days. So that's really exciting for me. So I haven't really decided if I'm gonna keep all of that in this vlog or not. I guess you guys will find out based on the length of it. Um, I'm always torn between giving you an hour long video like you guys like seem to prefer or splitting it up so that it makes a little more sense so I don't know let me know your guys preference Anywho, like I said it is Monday morning and it is 10 o'clock I sat in bed and read a little bit this morning I'm reading girl in pieces by Kathleen Glasgow really heavy read you guys I am typically someone that will like knock out 40 50 pages each morning and each night and I've been reading this for like five days and I'm still only at a page 112 um, which isn't even like it's like a quarter of the way through it's just a really heavy book um, it's a lot of self-harm in it and I just find that it's not a super light read so I haven't been like super excited about it but anyways I just got ready and now I am about to crank out some filming let's head into Madison's room as you guys know Madison is in college right now she is finishing up her master's degree and so I have been using her room um, as kind of a dumping ground because it just helps me spread out and so I can kind of see what's going on so today I have three brand deals that I need to knock out out one is for cup she which I'm really looking forward to I got some cute pieces another is for a nasty gal featuring some concert outfits this was actually a campaign that was supposed to run like legit months ago and they were just having a lot of shipping delays so it didn't end up happening but I got everything in the mail the other day so we're gonna film the video with that and then I also am going to film another batch of Hollister stuff I filmed a video like two weeks ago with Hollister stuff and it literally went so viral it was crazy um, and so they hired me for a three month contract, which I'm really, really excited about. They've been killing the game lately. So yeah, that is the bulk of this entire week's work, actually. Um, I have two other sponsorships going on right now. One with a sunscreen brand called Australian Gold, which I love. They have amazing stuff. And I'm actually going to bring that with me to the Florida Keys to shoot. And then I also have a Keds campaign. And I think I'm going to shoot this um, when I'm in Ohio. Like, I think I'm going to bring these to school and shoot them there because it's just like prettier scenery and kind of take me back to my back to school days anyways I'm like rambling right now I'm sure you guys don't care but you know this is what a week in my life looks like when I am a full-time content creator so all right let me show you guys really quick what I got from Hollister just a quick little speed round adorable little puffer vest I got two of these long sleeve bodysuits, just a white and then a light taupey brown. Two basic long sleeves in white and then a light taupey brown. Two pairs of these incredible trouser pants, a gray. And then I also got the black as well. Definitely gonna bring the black with me to Europe. These jeans, these cargos. And then the last thing is this chunky blue and white sweater. Olivia would love that. It's giving very Brandy Melville. Okay, and then the concert outfits. I know that the temperatures are like cooling down. I 
planned on having this stuff earlier in the summer, but cute little shorts, another pair of shorts. I haven't ordered from Nasty Gal before and everything seems kind of large, so I'll have to keep you guys posted on that. Um, I'm obsessed with denim maxi skirts right now, especially this star print one. Basic white ribbed tank, Budweiser tee, this fun little black like crochet vest, white crochet long sleeve, this adorable black tie front top, and then the last thing that I got is this funky dress. My dad told me it's so ugly, but I think it's so fun. You can't really see it holding up, but I'm excited about that. So yeah, gonna be a few hours of filming. I know you guys don't get to see much behind the scenes, but you'll have to make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. I want to be a summer forever girly so badly, and like I am to my core, but I am filming slash shooting some fall looks right now, and I just want to go to the pumpkin patch. It really does make me sad that I'm going to be gone for the full month of October, just because October is like one of my favorite months here. Um, it's just... It's fun, it's cozy, but I'm excited for Europe, of course. But how cute is this outfit? I'm obsessed. Another cute dress for the fall. How cutie patootie is this top? I am obsessed. From Lulu's, ignore the fact that I have whenever. Okay, the shorts that I ordered were like way too big. I usually just order what the model is wearing. Um, and that was unfortunately really big from Nasty Gal. So whenever I have like really big pants, I'll use a shoelace in order to make it work. Okay, it is 1.15 and I just finished filming Cupshe and all of the concert looks from Nasty Gal. And now I am going to head downstairs and eat some lunch really quick before I hop into the Hollister stuff. We went to Hornet's Nest the other night and I got buffalo chicken wrap with french fries and I hadn't eaten my leftovers yet so I'm going to eat those today. All right, I'm getting to work on the Hollister. I have two sponsored TikToks, a story set, and photos to take. So this one will take about two hours. Um, you, every time I am home, I am reminded like how excited I am to move and to have a space that's large enough for me to film without having piles of clothes everywhere. So manifesting that I can find the place of my dreams when I start looking in November. Okay, clearly it was just finished filming Hollister stuff. And right when I was about to pack up shots for the day, I had a package come. Shocker! Alright, this is from a brand I've never gotten stuff from, so we're going to find out if it's any good together. Um, it is from a brand called Fortunate One. It's a boutique, I believe, I want to say it's Australian. Wow, that is so flipping cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, I've got like a few last minute dresses for the season. I know you guys are over summer stuff, but I have those two last minute um, trips coming up. That is adorable. I'm so excited about that. Their stuff reminds me a lot of Petal and Pup and Lulu's. It's like that type of stuff. Oh my gosh, adorable. I love that. How cute. Yellow puff sleeve dress, maxi skirt. Um, this is like not for a sponsored post or anything. This was just gifted. And, um, but I'm probably gonna make a TikTok with it because wow, everything is so adorable. Oh my God, I love to. Okay, this one's really cool. Um, it is one of these reversible dresses. You can tie this a bunch of different ways. Um, to give it like a strappier look. I'm really excited about that. And the last thing I got, wait till you see this, you guys. I actually have the top of this and from a different brand from Princess Polly and they had a dress. That is stunning. I have a wedding. Like I said, Chloe's getting married. This would have been perfect for it. Maybe I'll wear it. Very cute. Thank you guys. I'll leave that stuff linked down below. And I guess I'm going to try it on. See if it's any good. So I tried this dress on and loved it more than any of the other dresses I had gathered for this wedding. And I was like, mom, what do you think? And she was like, I met your dad solo at a wedding um, wearing a black silk dress. So you should wear the black silk dress. So this is what I'm going to wear to Chloe's wedding Sunday. Wow. Such a good order of clothes. You guys, I'm obsessed. I'm making my way through my to-do list today. I've got some pitching to do so I'm just gonna spend some time on my phone reaching out to properties and restaurants for my European trip. I also have like a general to-do list of things I need to do this week over here so just kind of making my way through. ready to go to the Orioles game. This is what I'm wearing. Boohoo tank top, American Eagle jeans, Dolce Vita sandals and it's another day with the Mannions. You guys are probably like do you guys hang out with anybody else? 
And I'm gonna say no, we literally yeah. don't. But we're, we're trying to get time with you while you're home. We're the only friends we've got right here. Oh, we need to push these up. Ugh. Yeah. Orioles have the best stadium. We just decided. Yeah. So if you didn't know, the Manions are actually Rays fans, which is in St. Pete. Tampa the area, but we are local <laughs> Orioles people. Well, we're also equidistant to the Nats, but there's no field like the Orioles field. It's so homey and fun here, and we're really excited. We're even being social on a Monday. We never do fun on weekdays. Scrub was in charge of getting our seats, and he got good seats. We're in a perfect spot. We're literally right behind second base. In the outfield, in the first row, how much were these tickets? Free. No, tell me. I, I'm like curious. How much is a nicer ticket? Like about thirty this? for tonight. But thirty dollars. That's it. But this, but this weekend they're closer to seventy. Wow. Different teams. We're playing the White Sox tonight. I'm neutral about who wins. We just got a hot dog. Neutral. Mike plays for the White Sox. Like if they lose, like I don't. It's a it's a win win situation, you know. But we hope they lose. We hope their catcher sucks and gets hurt. That's what we really hope. All right, I got a hot dog and a vodka pineapple double. Eighteen dollars and seventy two cents. What'd you get, Scrub? Double. Boots, but turkey. Always good. Oh, tacos and. Margarita. They send a lot of stuff to the house. Look at dad, like what is that? How much was that? I don't like you are. Okay, it is the fourth inning. Third inning, bottom of third. And I just got one of these orange smashes. I've never tried this. It's so good. Mrs. Manny convinced me to get it. And I've never seen them, but they must be Maryland because they have a criminal. Ten percent in this, and there's no um, there's no fizziness to it. Do you want to try it? Have you tried it? He's paying attention. They're not all like that. I don't want to try that. I know that tastes like shit. You don't like it? What do you think? I thought it was pretty good. I think it's pretty good for a seltzer, man. It's, I think it just tastes like it tastes orange. Like, it tastes like an it orange drink. It doesn't taste uh, medicine-y to me. I'm going to tag them on Instagram. Maybe they'll send us a <laughs> in, Right, right, right. And then a little while later, people like, Bam! Oh, we're going to go fix them. Oh, be there. It, it is the bottom the of the eighth. Wow, we stayed that long. Oh, we're all done. He likes to leave before the game ends so that he can be trapped. But we've had a good game. It's Looks like you're feeding the whole thing. Oh, right now. <laughs> We're so winning. I had no idea. We had no idea. Whole whole I ate know, like half. They brought me back in. I forgot to vlog it, but it was yeah. really good. Yeah. Yes. We're scouting for my future husband right now. Uh, Gunnar Henderson or Adley Rushman, if you're watching, the kids are available. Orioles won. It was a great game. We had lots of fun. And now it is Tuesday morning. I woke up at 8 and was ready to kickstart my day. And then I got a call from the dentist saying that they had an opening. So now I am getting ready to go to the dentist because my appointment is at 10.15. And it's like 30 minutes away. Now I am going to be very vulnerable and tell you guys something. And you can't judge me. And it is that I have not been to the dentist um, since COVID. And... Like, I'm so embarrassed to even say that, but what I'm learning is that a lot of my friends haven't been either. Like, Sam and I were just talking about it, and she was like, I just went last month for the first time since COVID. Like, it seems like, like, annual visits people have really put off since COVID because it's just so hard to get into a doctor's office. On Friday of last week, I was like, you know, I better take care of that and visit the dentist before I move in January. So I called them and was like, hey, can I get the closest available appointment? And they were like, no, it's not till January 20th. And I was like, well, can you put me on the wait list? Cause I'm not gonna live in Maryland in January. And they were like, sure. And they called me today. I wasn't expecting to get in so soon. So now I'm getting ready to dentist outfit check. August is my favorite month of the year. And it's just like the perfect weather. My favorite weather is when it's comfortable enough to go outside in whatever you want. 
If I wore shorts outside right now, I'd be comfortable. If I wore pants right now, I wouldn't be sweating. If I wore a sweatshirt, I'd be fine. Like, I love that. I'm wearing T and Cargos, both from Hollister, Dolce Vita Zenas, and then, guys, I'm obsessed with this purse. I got this a few weeks ago, and I don't think I've shown it to you. It's a white purse that says styled by in gold on the sides. Like, literally so cute. My own merch. I love it. I'm like so nervous to go to the dentist, you guys. Anyways, when I was fishing out my insurance card, I found in the same drawer these air fresheners that Jules gave me I totally forgot about. Mermaid at heart for your car. I'm like, put that in my purse. I want to put that up. Guys, I'm having such a fun day at the dentist. <laughs> so I have a new person here today. Miss Debbie. She has the cutest pink scrub. Hot pink. Are they fakes? Fakes? Figs. Are they figs? No, they're Scrubs? not. They're figs. not figs. All right. Well, anytime I go anywhere, someone finds out what I do for a living and they think it's fun. And so they have requested that I mention in my vlog that where I go to the dentist because they're not on social media. But a lot of you guys are local. So what is the name of the dentist here? I've come here my whole Partobi. life. I've come here my whole life and I can't even tell you the name of it. Susan, Susan Partobi. But on Shady Grove name, Road. But the name Rockville. of the dentist is it's just Su Susan Partovi. All right, mm -hmm. Susan Partovi, Shady Grove Road. I'm about to get my fluoride done, and I had no cavities today, mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, let's put you back. Is this gonna move? Should I just leave it? That's good. I just got a proper flossing lesson, and it was brutal. <laughs> it was a brutal day. <laughs> so so do I got have a new TSA wow. compliant. And so um, oral rinse. Is this just mouthwash? Yeah. Look at how fancy that is. I love that it's And a nice toothpaste. travel toothpaste Perfect. that will fit uh, go through TSA and a toothbrush. And a tooth what color is my toothbrush? Would you like orange? Wait, okay, so do you want to know something funny? What? A dentist appointment, you guys. The new lady was so nice. Um they were so excited to hear about what I do. That's like I never feel more proud of my job than when I meet like normal 55 year olds they are so mesmerized and so captivated by what i do and just so interested in it and like truly every single one of them even the dentist that has been my dentist for 20 years said i wish i had your job and it really puts things into perspective like i am living the dream baby so thank you guys for making it possible my teeth are clean and now i'm going home mom's Sorry. always saying that we don't eat the leftovers and I don't know how because we have video proof every day of me eating leftovers. And today we're having the leftover chicken sandwiches from the other night. And I just want to note that I am the best daughter because I sacrificed the fresh roll for dad and the bacon. I gave him well, extra bacon. Well, thank you, good daughter. <laughs> okay, I just switched purses. Fueled up. Let's head to Starbucks. Guys, in my last video, I was literally just talking about how good my hair still looks, and Sarah just walked in. The, this is a small town, guys. The Starbucks is right next to the hair <laughs> salon. So Sarah just walked in, and she's like, your hair still looks so good. She's good at her job. Everybody go. Come to me, please. Sarah Rojas, hair razors, to Damascus. school outfits featuring American Eagle new arrivals. I shared these on my Instagram stories with the last couple of days. You guys seem to really like these basic like back to school outfits so I was really excited to share this one. Then this blog post is going to go live tomorrow. I post Mondays and Wednesdays if you guys didn't know. So these are scheduled out for the next like week and a half. 
I've got some summer to fall transition looks featuring some new boohoo pieces. Just got these in the mail last week and I filmed a TikTok, basically like everything that I've been posting to TikTok and Instagram reels and Instagram stories and my LTK, I've also been trying to give a blog post for. So if you guys are ever looking for like outfit ideas all in one spot, my website is the answer to that. And I did something new. I linked everything here and I put the like pictures of everything too, just to make your guys' life a little easier. And then I have 10 Pinterest approved fall outfit ideas featuring some stuff that I got at TJ Maxx in Marshalls. I'm really excited about this. I have a campaign going live with them in September and I got some really cute stuff so I decided to just do a blog post while I was at it. And what's really exciting about this collaboration is that it's kind of a spin off of what I used to do when I was in high school. So when I was working on like a $40 budget for every two months, I obviously didn't have like endless amounts of money. I wasn't getting free clothes. So I would go to TJ Maxx and I would share like the newest trends based on what they had at TJ Maxx and then I would like allow myself to bring home two or three things um, so funny so just kind of like a cool little throwback very full circle moment I mean I've been at this you guys for legit like eight years now so it's kind of fun to see things like come around at this stage of the game so anyways all right I've still got quite a few phone tasks that I need to do once I get home um, but don't want to be late for dinner you guys know my mom Every day when I get home, I get a package, and my dad is always here Hello. Um, waiting for an unboxing. He's getting dinner ready. Um, anyways, so I was about to tell him, and I was like, I might as well tell the vlog at the same time. So for months and months, everyone has told me, like years actually, that you need to use expensive shampoo. And I was like, no, 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 I'm going to use the same $3 suave my whole life. And then I got a collab last year to finally try expensive shampoo and I ended up using that brand of Veda for like nine months and I really liked it but I wanted to try something different to see if there was something else out there so I asked for recommendations on Instagram and people were like you need to get Redken so I was like okay so I went to Ulta and I spent $55 on shampoo and conditioner 55 dollars which is crazy swear. it'll be beeped out i was like oh my gosh that's crazy but i was like you know people said and, and a bottle of shampoo lasts me like six to nine months like a long time and i swear to god like two three weeks later redkin emailed me so i got redkin was the brand i got redkin so was emailed that a me good brand and yes redkin emailed me and asked if they could send me something and i was like oh i manifested that like that is the definition of like everything you want is yours and already exists out there like shut up so now look they sent me the exact same size bottle that i spent 55 dollars on they just sent me um their acid bond shampoo and conditioner Did and their five it the minute blog? mask i mentioned it but there's no shot that someone from redkin saw it but i'm so excited you guys leave in treatment so this specific um this specific line is supposed to combat one year of visible damage in one use i'm so excited to try this you have no idea like wow okay and then i also got a dress from pepper mayo um my stuff came in like a bunch of different orders i don't know why um i already got all the other stuff but i also got this dress pretty Hopefully I'll be able to bring it to Europe, but if this is Jersey, I thought it was going to be cotton and everything that's Jersey weighs a lot, so I don't know. Anyways, alright, Dad's cooking us up burgers. We had burgers last week. Um, burgers is my favorite meal, as you guys know, but um, last week we accidentally ate them on old potato rolls. Well, we didn't accidentally. Dad made us eat them on old potato rolls. I didn't rolls. Look anybody. <laughs> I thought they were Dad's fine. mad because mom said that the potato rolls were bad, and dad said they were fine. Anyways, were the point is that I thought they were stale, and I was disappointed in my burger last week. So this week we have fresh, fresh rolls, and we're giving it a second go. I tried to make a smiley face, but it got lopsided. Okay, I just did like two hours worth of phone work. And I've been watching Mike's game while I do it, just as background noise. He's doing okay. He got a really nice single and just popped up. Um, but I'm feeling good. I submitted a lot of content to different brands. And I posted two TikToks and an Instagram photo. So I've been in my active TikTok era, you guys. When I'm home, I like post every day. When I'm on the road, 
road. I swear to God, I never post, but anyhow. All right, I'm hopping in the shower. Just a quick body shower today. And then I've got more things to do on the computer. I'm gonna pick out some selects tonight. I've been reading for like the last hour finally making my way through a good chunk of this book it's not bad it's good it's just really dark and that's what's making me move through it a little slower but i'm calling it quits and heading to bed i just worked up a storm you guys it's 10 to 15 right now i just spent three hours editing reels and submitting content from the other day all of my hollister stuff my nasty gal stuff i set a cup sheet partnership live i set a halara youtube video live i made sure that my blog post was up and ready to go and i'm feeling good anyways a good chunk of today will be spent editing a week in my life vlog that's gonna go live on Sunday and then I need to pack for this little adventure which I'm really looking forward to and then I also need to run into town to ship out a package at the post office get gas and um, pick up a couple of snacks for the road so if Madison were home right now and saw her room, she would literally have a heart attack and then kill me. Um, but anyways, I am packing for the week. I was really looking forward to a cooler Midwestern like five, six days. And there is a heat wave happening. It's actually going to be 92 degrees everywhere. So little change of plans on what I was planning on packing. But all right, I've got all my outfits laid out. This is what I'm gonna wear in the car tomorrow. And then I have a lunch slash meeting with a few friends outfit. And then I have two going out tops. And then the next day I have hangover breakfast with a girlfriend, just will be wearing casual clothes. And I'll be driving to Cleveland in that. And then I have dinner and drinks. So I'm gonna bring a pair of low rise jeans and a black tank. Then the next day, Allie and I are gonna do something fun. So I brought two different options. I have a yellow two piece set. And then I also have like a denim skirt outfit just in case I wanna do something a little trendier um, but like I said it's supposed to be really hot so we'll see and then we're going to the Indians game that night I have two different options just because I'm not entirely sure how hot that 90 degrees is going to feel so I have one jeans one shorts option then the next day I am driving to Indiana I have a casual outfit for that and then I have the wedding that night so I've got my dress all laid out and then the next day I am driving to West Virginia to hang out with Madison so I just brought um, a tank top and jean shorts like super casual and then her and I are going to be like going to dinner and going out that night so I just brought a pair of cargos and one other tank top as like an option so we'll see what I end up going for. And then the next day, Tuesday, I'm driving home. So I've got a comfy set for that as well. So yeah, this trip, I think I'm going to pack up in like duffels just because I'm going to be at friends' houses. So I feel like a suitcase is really aggressive. My tried and true old favorites, my Hunter duffel bag. You guys know when I was in college, I used to use this a ton. And then I also have my Vera Bradley. My Vera Bradley is technically not a duffel. It's like the oversized tote. I think I'm just going to pack the first few days in this and then the next few days in this. That way I don't have to bring everything in all at once. So So I needed to pack up three outfits featuring my Keds and I realized that I needed to try everything on and film the story portion while I was at home. So I just filmed one last brand deal of the week and I'm packing up these three outfits super quick. I'm going to shoot this tomorrow when I get to school. Um, like the good old days, guys, like a good little throwback. I'm actually really excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and you guys will finally have some fall outfits coming your way. I know you guys have been patiently waiting. Okay, now that I finished filming that brand deal, I am all ready to go. I'm packed up. It literally looks like I'm leaving for a month. This is my bag for Kent. This is my bag for Cleveland and like literally the whole second half of the week. And then this is my photo shoot bag for tomorrow with all of the DSW looks. And then I have the giveaway prize right here. I need to box up really quick. I just changed into something super casual and I need to eat really quick because I'm starving and you know all right mom made these like song chicken wraps the other day and she said they were really really good I'm excited I'm actually not gonna have it in a wrap just because 
I don't know, I'm being lazy right now and I feel like so frantic. I'm, so, I'm rushing, guys. I have so much to do today. Let's get after it. Post office, grocery store, gas, Starbucks to work. Post office drop off first. At the grocery store now, if you know me, you know I literally never go on a road trip without Cliff Bars. I think I'm gonna do cool mints today. I ended up swapping for uh, crunchy peanut butter at the last second, and then I got Ritz crackers. I really wanted Cheez-Its, but they were $5 for a box. $5 for a box of Cheez-Its, and I really like things that are like individually packaged when I'm on the road. Um, so I got eight fresh stacks of Ritz crackers, healthier, and only $2.50. Okay, now I am getting gas. Gas just keeps going up and up and up, man. It is $3.53 right now. Um, which is crazy it seems like thankfully as you guys can tell I don't really do that much driving when I'm home like I feel like I'm either on an insanely long road trip or I maybe go through a tank of gas once a month so I literally just need like five gallons of gas right now and just like that folks we've spent $50 I just said to my mom $50 is the new 15 I promise this is my last day here for like the rest of the month <laughs> Just a cake pop and a water today, nothing crazy. Ready to start editing this YouTube video. So I had every intention of being at Starbucks until dinner time, but I'm stupid and I forgot my computer charger, so I'm just headed home now. It's like 2.45. The amount of time I spend each week dealing with not having space on my computer is literally absurd. Like if I just took the time, Mackenzie, to edit my yearly montage, I could move seven months worth of footage off of my computer and never have to deal with this issue. But I just can't bring myself to do it. So yes, this is your reminder that I am a procrastinator as well. All right finally finished up this vlog you guys and now my mom asked me to cook dinner so let's go okay we're having shrimp feta pasta tonight which as you guys know is one of my holy grail meals it's actually my mom's recipe and so that's what we're having tonight So I have been trying really hard this year to be a more thoughtful friend and one of the ways that I have been doing this is by really making a point to celebrate small things in my friend's life and their birthdays. So I am going to stay with my big Allie and she is getting ready to leave her Cleveland apartment and move into an apartment in Chicago and I have never been to this apartment so this is kind of a housewarming kind of a going away um, but when we were in college we would have this ranch chicken meal once a week at my house you make it in the crock pot it's super easy and she would always come over for ranch chicken and I miss having dinner together so much and I know she doesn't have a crock pot so I bought her a crock pot and then all the ingredients and I just wrote her a little card and I wrapped it up and I'm gonna be bringing this to her okay just packed up a a huge two Ikea bags worth of clothes for Olivia and Lauren to go through. They asked me to bring some stuff. The two of them are actually going on a trip to a bay in Ohio this weekend. Um, so I brought them some swimsuits and things like that to go through. And now I am taking a shower. I am out of the shower and I am about to paint my nails. I finally got um, the Beatles gel nail polish to last five days which believe me is not like some amazing achievement. <laughs> Gel nail polish is supposed to last like 10 days without chipping, but you guys know I've been struggling a little bit with getting this polish to not chip. But um, I ended up taking the blue off of my nails and my toes. Just I'm headed to this wedding and I was like, I don't want blue on my nails. So I think I'm going to do this like pale purple. It matches my dress a little bit. I'm torn between that and the pale yellow. I'm gonna see. And while I paint my nails, I am listening to Mike's game. Well, watching it. He's DHing today, so I'm not really paying much attention until he gets up to bat. He had a really nice double. Here are my nails. I did like this light lilac purple. 
and then i have white on my toes and my hair is all clean i'm gonna wake up tomorrow and do my makeup do my hair and then get on the road um my goal is to leave here by 7 30 so i will catch you guys in the morning i'm just gonna keep kent in this vlog so stay tuned for all the college fun i am up and at them let's get out of here it is 7 06 and it will take me about four and a half five hours to get there and i'm going straight to lunch to meet up with krista so i'm wearing something kind of cute see top is from nasty gal bottoms are boohoo sandals are steve adam it is 10 52 and i am about an hour away from school right now i'm making great time and just been jamming almost there made it to Kent you guys and I'm literally so happy I could cry I'm at the baseball field right now um, killing time actually Krista doesn't get out of class for like another 30 minutes and I was like perfect I can head over to the field and journal if you guys or like newer subscribers. I was here literally every single weekend either to watch or in the off season I would just come and sit here and journal and just, I don't know, it's a good place to sit. Um, always reminded me of home, so yeah. I made great time, I'm so happy to be here, you guys. All right guys, while I was here, I wanted to run into the fashion school really quick and meet with one of my old professors, Hillary Stone. If you guys go to Kent State, then you definitely know who this is. If you guys do not know and you didn't watch my old vlogs, she is in charge of all internships and a lot of like post-grad job placement. She knows literally anyone and everyone in the fashion industry and she is part of the reason why Kent State has the credibility that it does. She is an amazing person to have a good relationship with because she literally teaches every single fashion student she teaches a class called professional seminar which like sets you up for the real world you do job resumes and interview practice and things like that with her and every year she gets close with a few students and really aids them in like their next steps and when I was a junior in college we would meet very frequently she's very familiar with me like on a texting basis and I have been as you guys know struggling a little bit with my post-grad purpose I absolutely love what I am doing but I feel like I am just being paid to live and like see the world and try new things and that is amazing it's everyone's dream even the dentist remember said I wish I had your job I know that it is a once in a lifetime opportunity but you can still have everything and still feel like you're not not doing enough but that you're not fulfilling your purpose I guess so I have like really sat down over the last few months and asked myself like what I want next and what I want to do with styled by and I really want to teach I don't want to go back to college and be like a college professor at least right now in my life but I want to use my relevancy at Kent to my greatest advantage and set up a scholarship here and start guest speaking and possibly speak on a panel or two and really just like become acclimated as a known alum from Kent State and I really want to do this right now and part of that is just because there are still people at Kent that have watched my videos and that I attended school with and that know who I am like I'm still a relevant character here and I want to act on that and my six months out of postgrad and really show girls that they can achieve whatever they want when I started at Kent State I made my first $100 through style by McKenz style by McKenz made its first $100 my freshman year of college and by the time I graduated I was making over six figures doing this and it feels unbelievable to say that I never in a million years when I stepped foot onto Kent State thought that I would be doing this as a job full-time and I'm so proud of myself and I'm so grateful to you guys for giving me this platform and supporting me and allowing me to be what I am but I also like really want to spread that message with girls here that they can do that too. Like it is a once in a lifetime opportunity, but it doesn't have to be like so many people can take hold of this and, um, 
so just like speaking in a social media class or anything like that about my experience is really like kind of a direction I want to step in so I just had the most amazing meeting with her she gave me all the details and she asked if I would be the VIP speaker at Kent State Fashion Week which happens in April it's a huge deal it's a big big fashion show that they put on with all kinds of models and industry professionals from different corporations like Express and Abercrombie they'll come to this and they hire designers basically off of the floor and she was like I want you to be our guest speaker and you can present your scholarship there so we're gonna be working on those next steps and I'm so excited I'm so happy you guys like I am so proud of myself and just like what a full circle moment it was to sit there and be like I did it I I did this guys like and you got me there like it is the coolest fucking feeling in the world. God, oh. look who it is. what up shoddies I miss Krista so much with this <laughs> cat I'm staying with her tonight at her humble abode. We'll have to give humble you an update. Abode. She's no longer living in Providence. Yeah. And it's a she's sad change, in, but... What was the name of the house you were living in? Honey Hut. Honey Hut. Yeah. Why could I not think of it? Yeah. Does this house have a name? No, we're still working on figuring out a name, but... They just um, moved in. Not that long ago. Yeah, it looks really ratchet from the outside. But the inside's still a lot. Yeah, yeah. the character. inside's nice, though, so it's fine. Well, I'm so excited. We're at Franklin Square Deli. Yes, we're at Franklin's, which is the first place that I ever went when I visited Kent State. So I always like to come back. I got a Capri Sun, it's not here yet. What'd you get? I got build your own turkey, provolone, lettuce, ranch. <laughs> wow. And chips. So we're eating, we're catching and up. Water. That's all I have to say right now. I have lots to talk to Chris about. So we'll catch you guys I hope while you we're didn't at the forget about me store. again. I know. Guys, I'm sure there will be many people that are excited to see you again. Or they're going to come and say, who's that? Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yay! Look who it is, everybody! Guys, I'm so excited! Jess is my go-to girl. Let's move all my snacks and my crap out of the seat. Jess is my go-to study abroad girl. Um, she changed my life and Aww. she's here. We didn't know each other when we were in Kent. Thank this you. is our first time ever laying eyes on each other in Kent, Ohio. Do you understand <gasps> how crazy, crazy it is? It's literally crazy. Even though we were literally neighbors in our old apartment <laughs> complex. <laughs> Anyways, so, I'm so excited. Jess is being an angel and helping me <laughs> Really quickly oh shoot a brand deal in Kent, like good old times. Um, everyone was <laughs> like, gonna go viral. You're doing that? And I was like, yeah, you know, like it just seemed like the right place to shoot it. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick at the fashion school and we're going to dinner, but. So we everybody, did it, we did it. Thank you, Miss Jess. Anytime. Um, so. Anytime, any place. My freshman year, I exclusively shot on the camera. And then sophomore year, I, started switching over to my phone and this was the first and i know like all the spots and at what times of day you get the best photos she you was know? on it she i knew know exactly what i know to do. this was my stopping grounds for three years and i was like today i finally have switched back to the camera this was a camera photo shoot and i was like mm, there's nothing like this so crisp good. lighting on a day here it's like, like it's perfect beautiful perfect day to shoot right now like this is perfect i almost brought the drone here Oh, you should have. I know. I thought about it. But That'd then ultimately I was like, I don't know. Because the rest of the week, what was I going to do with it? But true, like, true, true, true. favorite. Wow. It feels good to be back. Guys! You guys, we're at the drive through This is so exciting. Um, it just feels so good to be home, you guys. Yeah. Um, I don't know if all colleges have these, but we have one here in Kent. You just go through and it's basically a bunch of coolers, a bunch of cases of alcohol. And I just got some beatboxes for tonight. <laughs> And a buzz ball for Jess. Hell yeah. She's 21. I'm not buying her I alcohol underage. Um, but yeah, they've got everything. Thank you. Mario. Dinner with my princess Jess. We're at Mario. I haven't been in forever. All right, tell us what you got. I'm always here. I get the Thai chili tofu with the rice, corn, lettuce, some other things maybe. I don't know. But I love the tofu here. They had a special Jamaican loco taco with mango salsa and jerk chicken and rice. It has a hard shell and a soft shell. I'm pumped. We'll tell you how All it right is. guys, we are back from Barrio. Jerk chicken tacos were three out of 10. Not good. Oh, everything about it was kind of good, but the flavor combination was horrible. Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Guys, anyways, um, I'm back at Jess's house now. I brought two um, bags worth of clothes here. Wait, Lauren's got a pile. We've got a reject pile. We've got the girls trying stuff on. You know, good old days. Um, anyways, this is what we're just wearing. Just wearing. Old vlog. I am wearing a corset from Urban Outfitters, and my shorts are from Abercrombie. And then these are like my favorite going out shoes. Guys, doesn't she look so hot? Yeah. Okay, uh, this is my girl Jess, she's wearing a new top that I that just skipped in. Mackenzie just gave me, where's this from Mackenzie? I think it's from Zaffle, it's from my Living in California days. I don't never support that, it. I don't support that, but Mackenzie gave it to me so it's fine. Maybe jeans Amazon, are, like, I don't know. Jeans are Levi's, and guess what shoes I'm wearing? Air Forces. <laughs> Alright, cheers to that. All right, I'm cheers drinking to that. a beatbox peach punch. I'm drinking a buzz ball, like, strawberry Rita. And Lauren is in here getting dressed. What, Lauren? I don't think I shave her armpits. All right, well, you can shave she them. Shave her armpits. I guess <laughs> Lauren is going to wear this new outfit from me. The bodysuit is from a small business called I love Shop it. Indiana um, <laughs> something. It's really cute. I, I can't think of the exact thing. name. You took a lot of things from them, actually. The, really? uh, the white top with the embroidery. Yeah. The, I that. That's a work thing? top. And then these used to be oh, my favorite yeah. going out jeans. They're from Express. If you've been to my, on my channel, then you've seen them Thank a lot. You. When Mackenzie comes to town, I get everybody to try like all kinds of new things. And I have been raving about the Kopari Body Glow for literally Did you look months. Glowing. And they just sent me over their new version, which is um. <laughs> Excuse Bless me. You. Thank you. Okay, the new version is rose gold, and it has SPF 45. The gold one has SPF 50. So I don't interesting. Think I look glowy. I think oh, I do. I've seen look at it. You can I see it. Before. I talk about it all the time. I love this stuff. It's so good. Yeah. This one's for your shorts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bring it here. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see if you can see it. had a really good slumber party. We fell asleep at 4 and it's 7 a.m. She's uh, leaving now for work. Yeah, life is good. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Miss you. See you. I can't even see you. See you in a few, see you in a few days in Florida. You guys, we had the best night out with Krista, with Lauren, with Jess, with so many of you guys. I met like 12, 15 people out at the bars. Every bar I went to, I met someone. We went to Ray's, we went to Dom's forever, we went to 157, we went to Barfly. That was my first time at Barfly. We took way too many shots. Um, we took lots of pictures. It was just a freaking blast. And I just, 
this place feels so much like home. It's different and it's different in a way where I can feel we've grown up and I have this whole other second layer of appreciation for it. And that is like the coolest, best feeling. Um, and I'm just reminded how incredible my friends really are. Like the three of us just, Olivia had to work so she couldn't come up for the night, but the three of us just sat around the kitchen table just like crying for hours, literally until four o'clock in the morning. And we're like, we are just so lucky and we're going through a lot of growing pains right now, I think, as we navigate post-grad in such different avenues. But I'm reminded how special it is that we can take this time to still be present with one another and to still like carve out days where we can all get together. And not everybody is lucky enough to get that and not everybody is lucky enough to have friends um, worth keeping. And I just feel so lucky to have such incredible friends from so many different walks here that have really just shown up for me in this stage of life and that I am able to just kind of you know give my wisdom to my wisdom to as they finish up this year so it's just wow I I knew I love this place don't get me wrong oh my god I've said it a hundred times but like there is no love like this and this 24 hours I feel so showered with love like the way that all of my friends have just paused their life um, for this 24 hours and really made me feel like a legit celebrity being here like I will drop anything to like be with you and see you this week is just like the most special feeling so I love you guys thank you so much um, and to everybody that said hi I really really appreciate it um, it's the coolest feeling so I am at my favorite park right now Tannery Park and I have back-to-back -back walking plans I'm walking with my friend Kaylin at 10 and then my friend Lauren at 11 my other Lauren my sorority Lauren um, and then at 12 30 I have breakfast plans with Emily my sophomore year roommate so just really squeezing everybody in and then I am driving to Cleveland if you've never walked here you need to it is the best and that's my girl Kaylin Woo! look at you all cute in your Lulu you look adorable I missed you. you angel I missed you too. this is how my friends are squeezing me in today everybody I just walked to the end of the trail and back with Kaylin. It took us an hour and it's three miles total. And now I'm sitting in the car waiting for Lauren to get here. I'm going to do it again. Okay, I just walked with Lauren for an hour. So Hi. let me tell you how many steps I walked this <laughs> today so far. Uh, 14,545 <laughs> steps. 6.7 miles. It's 1225. Off to a great start. And I'm off to my next outing of the day. But I love you, Missy. And I'll be back in April. Can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you. I love you. you know, I'm off to breakfast with Emily, who I have not seen since graduation. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm at Over Easy, our spot. <laughs> so guys, look who I'm with. This stranger, of course we're at Over Easy. My parents, I was, they were like, are you gonna see Emily? And I was like, yeah, and they were like, are her parents coming? And I was like, not today. Usually that's the second time we see each other because we have a lot to unpack first. But she wants to tell you about her breakfast. So I know this is not what we're used to. Usually I have the breakfast tacos and I swear by them, but this is day one of 75. Today's day one? You couldn't have put it off one more day? No. September 1st, okay, no, fair. I had to. Okay, well I got this, but she can only eat a carnivore diet. So no breakfast tacos allowed. So because she didn't get them, and because my tummy feels like I drank seven Long Islands yesterday, this is what I'm having. Yeah, we didn't even go on a walk because we just sat in over easy for an, an hour hours. after they closed. We didn't know that they were closed. No one said anything to us, and then we looked around and we were like, it's closed. <laughs> so we just left. <gasps> what? Did you guys hear that? Guys, I have listened to Memory I Don't Mess With. Okay. That's what I was playing. <laughs> I have listened to that song. I, for a full hour on the way here yesterday, I keep saying in vlogs, I keep saying I cannot stop listening to this song. All right, I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> okay, hour drive to Cleveland to see Allie now. Hi, guys. I haven't talked to you in forever, but I got here, and Allie's apartment is so cute. We'll give you guys a little rundown later, but so we are getting ready to go out with a big group of her friends. We are going to dinner and then drinks and then like going out for the night. Oh, um, Missy, right, guys, show us what you're wearing. Okay, yes. I'm wearing this corset from Meow, these jeans from Aritzia, they're denim form, and my shoes are Dolce Vita. You have to pop your leg up so we can see. Okay. 
like, I miss my knee. Oh, wait, there you go. <laughs> I'm like, I have really bad. All right, I'm wearing the tank top from White Fox. My pants are from Hollister. My shoes are from Beachy. I was gonna carry my black purse, but I just prefer a shoulder bag for a night out. So I'm wearing the same one from Abbott Lion. And um, Allie just unboxed her gift, her crock pot. She was just as excited as I suspected. We're at Town Hall, and it is hopping here. You wanna meet a 20 something? This is where you come. It's hopping. I got a, it reminds me a lot of our places we would go out in Tampa, and I got a spritz, like their summer spritz sangria. I don't know, it's interesting. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's working though, it's doing its job. And they have like a holistic vegan type of menu. Not everything's vegan, but it's all very healthy. Except we got three orders of fries, so. And Allie got the chopped salad. And and me being me got the pizza. This is like, I don't know, she said this was the best, so we're gonna try it. And we're also with Allie's best friend from home, and it's her birthday, so woo! It is Saturday morning. Well, it's Saturday at noon, actually. We slept mm -hmm. in. We had a good night last night. It wasn't a super crazy night, but it was just a good, wholesome girls' night. We got to see a bunch of our Alpha Phi sisters. So many people that go to Kent are from Ohio and moved to Cleveland post-grad, and it, I'm, like, having jealousy, you guys, seeing everybody, like, just get to keep living life with their college friends in a new city like it's so cool and exciting to me that this morning everybody woke up and was like so where do you want to go to breakfast to get our hangover bagel from like i'm so jealous of people that i mean i love my life don't get me wrong like i'm so grateful to travel but i'm like jealous that there's people that get to just like move into this chapter with their tried and true college besties so i'm enjoying myself um anyways this morning Allie and i are going to well this not this morning Allie and i are getting ready to go to lunch we're going to a place called summer, summer house. house and it just re they just rebranded yeah and we're doing a fun little collab i haven't had a lunch collab in a minute so i'm really excited just walk around for a little bit and then we're gonna go to the Indians game to Guardians Guardians game tonight and I love the baseball stadium here so I'm excited should be another fun day summer house rebranded to summer place so now it's called summer place and it's in Lakewood which is like the suburb that's like 10 minutes outside of Cleveland and it's so cute here it's like true Ohio and I know this is gonna sound really stupid but I forgot that there's lakes in Ohio and we are right on the lake and it's beautiful and when I go places like this you guys I'm like maybe I could live in the Midwest like I could be content here too like if I met a man and he was like I'd rather live on a lake like I think I could be okay with it as long as we had a boat to like be out on the water oh my gosh <laughs> Thank you. That looks so good. Guys, that was like epic timing right there. I've been on an Eggs Benedict kick and they've got Canadian bacon, hound dog sauce. I already had a bite of these. They look amazing. I was really curious about this side of blueberry sausage, so I got that. Then Allie got breakfast sandwich with sausage and scrambled eggs. Does it have cheese on it? I don't think so. Hi! We just finished breakfast, well, lunch brunch it's 207 <laughs> i'm stuffed you guys i'm like numb I, i'm like, so full the cinnamon roll really pushed me over the edge <laughs> even though we started off with it but it was good definitely yeah. suggest good vibe we did a bad thing ali and i got home from brunch and we were like feeling so groggy we sat down and we talked for like a couple minutes and then we passed out for like an hour i never nap like ever but it felt so good look at how cute her living room is ali made that she drew it and they have such a nice couch super cute and they've got such a good view here in this little cleveland apartment i can show you guys because by the time um you are watching this they will be moved out they are moving to chicago next but it's very cute and we just got ready and well i didn't do anything i just changed 
and we are getting ready for the Guardians game. My little Sophia is coming and meeting us, and Katie is here again. She is one of my sorority sisters as well. Um, she hasn't really been in many vlogs over the years, but it's been really fun to like see a bunch of Kent people I haven't seen. Last night when we were out, we reconnected with a bunch of old friends too, which was nice. So, girls are just getting ready, and we'll keep catch up with you. I need to clear this memory card so I can film too. Bottom of a sixth inning. I'm making that up, but the game's tied. 4-4. Four, four. This is Sam, Allie's best friend from home. And we're gonna go. We're on the hunt for dogs now. We had a super nosebleed, $13, so we were like all the way up there. So we've kind of just been hopping around, venturing off. We are down in the standing room area now. It's the ninth inning, and we're down by one. It is packed here today because it's a Saturday and it's Labor Day and everybody's out. We need a hit, you guys. Like, if we want to, it's it's now or never. Get there! Yeah! They're having a they're having a meeting on the mound right now. If you watch this vlog, Steven, we just hope you're having fun. I hope you're having so fun, and there. I want to meet you at the car dealership. Yeah, we want to go. everybody it is 6 55 right now and i am getting ready to roll out of here and drive to indiana um we've got about a four hour and 20 minute drive so that's like 40 minutes less than when i looked last night so i will be getting there kind of early but i'm, I'm happy i'm glad guys because i just like i'm a little nervous about this drive i don't know why but i know i'll be okay golly had the sweetest note tucked into my bag so my sweet weekends every time we see each other it's like no time has passed thank you for taking time out of your crazy life to spend time with me my little pocket of peace i cherish our friendship and who you are as a person more than you know honest kind caring hard working and a ray of sunshine everywhere you go i've said it a million times and i won't stop anytime soon i am so proud of you love you mckenzie and can't wait until the next time <sighs> I love this life, but like, <sighs> being the long distance friend is like, this part of it is like so tough, like saying bye. So if you are lucky enough to live by your friends, please just tell them every day, you know, how much you love them and look around and like really, really cherish that because it's not to be taken for granted. So. You guys, I am like struggling hard right now. It is 9.15. So I've been in the car for two hours and 15 minutes and I have two hours and 15 minutes to go so I'm officially halfway and I'm not necessarily tired but this has felt like the longest two hours like my drive to Kent was literally like a breeze I had so much like going on in my head that it was like by the, I, did, I felt like I got there and I didn't even have time to think about everything I wanted to for some reason right now I'm like oh my god are we there yet and nobody is awake to call and pass the time because it's so early on a Sunday but um we're kicking halfway baby one more hour to go oh, thank god i am fueling up right now okay i have made it to indiana you guys and i just checked into my hotel i'm just staying one night at the hotel that um they had on their registry and i am going straight to work i want to film a couple of transition tiktoks for this wedding guest look um so i've got the tripod set up and i'm about to just leave that and I'm about to get ready. I just hopped out of the shower. I decided to rewash my hair because it was just not feeling its greatest. And we're about to do my makeup. I've got about three hours. I mean, it'll only take me like an hour to get ready, even with having to blow dry my hair. But 
uh, I figured I would be ready to go beforehand. I am like super independent. I do a ton of things on my own, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous to go to this wedding by myself. So I'm just like trying to get ready beforehand so that I can feel a little bit uh, more in control. I did have a plus one for this, but I, my roster is literally so dry, guys. I didn't have anyone to come with. Um, I would have asked Mike, but he's playing today. So anyways, okay. BRB. I am feeling myself, ladies and gents. I went back and forth, as you guys know, about what dress to wear for this event literally a gazillion times. The theme is summer cocktail, and I finally decided on this dress. The black is a little bit fancy for a cocktail attire, but my mom was like, I just think this one's really flattering on you, and I feel like the flowers make it a little more casual. Um, this is from a brand called Fortunate One, and then I've got on little black baby block heels. These are like my go-to type of heel when I am attending a wedding. These are from Vici. fun wedding you guys it was literally so hot it was like 90 degrees outside so thank god i brought my claw clip because i had to wear my hair up literally the entire day and i'm all sweaty i got so many compliments on this dress it was literally insane like i've never had so many people compliment me on an article of clothing i loved this like i said it was from that brand fortunate one and my code and i have a code it's mckenzie for 10 percent off um but yeah good drinks good food i met lots of people and there was nothing to worry about it was a fun night um so yeah there were some people that like kept the party going it's 11 right now and went to this like other bar but i have to be up tomorrow and out of here start my day of driving so i'm gonna hop in the shower and head to bed but i'm really glad i was able to make it um and be a part of the big day I would say I'll catch you in the morning, but I'm actually gonna end this vlog off here. It is Sunday night, so we're gonna finish her off and start a new vlog tomorrow. I will be in West Virginia, and then home Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm leaving Thursday for the Florida Keys. So stay tuned for a little short and sweet vlog. Hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Super fun taking you guys along, and I had a great week. So love you guys, thank you, and I will talk to you.